Hey, it's Dr. Laura Conover, and today I want to answer the question, how long should you ground for each day? My goal in this video is to show you that there is no time too short and also no time too long to be grounded. I'm going to tell you about the instantaneous health benefits that you get from touching the earth that quickly, and then how the benefits accrue over time, over minutes, over hours, and over days, and what the medical literature has to tell us about that. Now, on my website, I have a page called Medical Studies, where I have all of the medical studies over the past three decades now that have been published in the medical literature that show these health benefits. So if you want to read the literature for yourself, go over to my website at intuition-physician.com and find the medical studies button and it's all waiting for you. I link you over to the original medical study so you can read directly from the journal and also I have lots of articles where I've described in detail how the studies were performed and what the results mean. So if you want to dive deeper I, I suggest going over to my website. But today's video is just going to be a quick review so that you really realize there is no time too short. If you can touch the earth just for a minute, I would do it, and here's why. Within just seconds, your muscle tension throughout your body decreases. We can measure that on an EMG. So if you have fibromyalgia or you're starting to get that tension headache, it is very worth going outside and touching the earth, and you will notice instantly your muscles relax. On top of that, your brain patterns, your brain waves, actually shift pretty instantaneously as well. That is seen on an EEG. So your brain goes into a relaxed healing state, alpha brainwave patterns. So you might find pretty quickly that your mood actually lifts. On top of that, your body voltage and your skin conductance immediately changes. So skin, muscles, and brain are all very instantaneously affected by getting grounded, by plugging into the earth. If you're able to stay there for minutes, and by minutes I mean at least 15, but 30, anything under an hour, let's say about a half hour, this is what the medical literature has to say about what the earth can do in that period of time. What happens over time is that your circulation improves. Your blood viscosity goes down. So your blood is able to move more freely and the capillaries open up. So now blood is being distributed throughout your body more effectively. And this was shown in medical studies looking at grounding through your foot and looking at the capillaries in the face. So your vagal tone improves in just minutes to hours. Um, and that affects your basal metabolic function. It affects your oxygenation. Oxygenation is increased. It affects your heart. Your heart rate variability is boosted, so your heart is actually functioning better. It supports your digestion. Your entire digestive tract is supported by that vagal nerve. So when you first touch the earth, it's, it's relief. Your brain starts to calm and your muscles start to relax. And then when you sustain that for minutes to hours, your organ system is optimized because your vagal tone is supported and your circulation is improved and your metabolism is improved. What happens if you sustain that for days and weeks and months? Now you're not just seeing body benefits, but you're actually seeing the resiliency of the body. So it went from relief instantaneously to recovery over minutes to hours to resiliency when you become grounded daily. And this is part of your healing routines every single day. That muscle damage is actually decreased and what that translates into is that you're less sore on a daily basis from your exertion during the day. Your bones are protected because the indicators for osteoporosis actually go down as your minerals stabilize. So now your bones are being more protected. Your metabolism has been boosted as we talked about from the digestive tract, the vagal tone being boosted, and also a boost to your thyroid. But what might that translate into over days, weeks, and months? That might be weight loss. You might find that your metabolism is improved to the point where you're losing weight. And I was so intrigued by that. I personally studied that with some of my own patients. It was a very informal study, um, and I ran it for 10 weeks. So two and a half months of grounding every day. No change to diet, no extra exercising, nothing different, just grounding every day. And after two and a half months, most patients lost about a pound a week. Over the 10 weeks, it was anywhere from a four pound to a 15 pound weight loss, which is fantastic. Medical studies looking at brain function while you sleep grounded show that the brain stays in healing patterns of sleep, deeper, more restorative sleep. Um, and so when you do this day after day after day, and also your cortisol starts going down, your 
insomnia is relieved. You sleep better. So your nighttime sleep is restored and in the day your energy is restored. You're actually becoming more resilient. Your muscles are less sore. Your metabolism has gotten a boost. You might have experienced some weight loss at this point. You probably have felt pain reduced and your inflammation in your body is just coming down. So now you're more resilient to whatever you face every single day. If your goal is to just get instantaneous relief and you wanna go outside and I highly recommend grounding outdoors through all the seasons. And because I wanted to give suggestions and ideas for what to do when it's cold out or when you live in a city or if you have a particular healing goal, what activities can you do outside that uh, match with your specific healing goals? I wrote a book called The Earth Prescription. It's all about getting outside to ground and all of the health benefits from doing it to the earth naturally. The Earth Prescription is gonna be a companion guide to get you outside and get grounding to be part of daily wellness, just like putting your seatbelt on every single day, just like drinking water every single day. You should be outside touching the earth every single day and the earth prescription will tell you how to do it. If you want the benefits of hours of grounding, sleeping grounded overnight and grounding for weeks and grounding for months, then you're probably talking about using indoor grounding tools because most of us can't spend days and weeks and months directly outside on the earth. So we bring grounding indoors through the use of conductive grounding tools, and that allows you to sleep grounded overnight. So there really weren't any eco-friendly grounding tools, which to me doesn't make sense because we're recognizing that the earth provides support to our health directly through grounding and indirectly through food and through water and through air. So we really depend on the earth for our physical health. And so creating products that are going to sit in a landfill made out of plastic or leatherette or vinyl, polyester sheets, for 500 years sitting in a landfill long after we're gone, that doesn't really make sense to me because we really want to preserve and it should go hand in hand that as your health improves, you also care that the health of the earth is sustained. So since there were not any eco-friendly tools out there, I started having them made myself, hand sewn per order. There's no waste. They're not bulk mass produced. They're not shipped overseas. They're made right here, made using all natural materials or organic materials that biodegrade and that are healthy for your skin to be against as you're sleeping for hours and hours and hours all night long. So you can find these grounding tools that include a grounding bedroll that's easy to travel with or a grounding mattress panel so you can get your bed grounded. You can find these and other all natural, eco-ethically produced grounding tools on my website in my grounding boutique, and that's at intuition-physician.com, and they're waiting for you there. So when physicians look at an EEG and they're looking at brainwave electrical patterns and they're having that printout, they're looking at the DC energy of the brain. When physicians look at an EKG, looking at the heartbeat, you know, that classic little heartbeat line is actually a line measuring the DC energy of your heart. When we look at EMGs, which is measuring the conductance of your muscles, we're looking at the conductance of DC energy that allows you to move your body. So DC energy is super important to us, and that's what is the natural energy of the earth outside. It's not the fake artificial man-made AC energy. This is the natural predominant energy of the universe. And so when we go outside and we touch the earth, we immediately, our highly conductive bodies become part of this DC energy global circuit and puts our body into a healing state and it feels like relief. And that's because the earth is constantly pulsing with this DC energy, sometimes called the Schumann resonance. It's the heartbeat of the earth and it is a constant. It's constantly there. It's constantly pulsing out. It takes one touch of one finger, one toe, any part of your conductive body touching any part of the conductive earth outside, including touching a tree, including standing in a puddle, including any conductive element that's outside, sidewalks are conductive, metal is conductive. Touching your dog, if you're at a dog park and you just bend down and you're petting your dog for a minute, you're grounded through your dog. So there's tons of ways to get just little pulses of that beautiful DC energy that the earth is constantly giving us through grounding just for a few seconds to minutes. And we feel that and we feel that relief. The benefit to grounding over days and weeks and months and years is that then we become plugged into the second DC output of the earth and that's called the Carnegie curve. So the Carnegie curve is a daily 24 hour rhythm that's measured all over the globe. And not only is it a 24 hour rhythm that really orients your body to day and night, but it's also seasonal and it really helps orient us to what season we're in when we're standing on this planet, which is why grounding one of its first applications was to ameliorate jet lag because the earth informs you where you are, 
what time of day it is, and what season we're in. It's going to really orient us and get our circadian rhythm corrected, and also seasonally really orient us to maybe hibernating and relaxing and restoring and nurturing and cocooning in the winter. And then in the spring, waking back up, feeling more energy, moving, getting inspired, getting creative. These are all the benefits, I believe, of being not only synced in instantaneously to that Schumann resonance, but being connected year round to that Carnegie curve so that we really, our bodies, our natural bodies become part of this natural universe that we live in. So remember, there's instantaneous benefits. There is nothing that's too short. If you can just touch the earth for one split second, I would do it because that is going to connect you to that DC energy and instantaneously allow your body to go into a healing state. Those brain waves start to go into a healing pattern and your muscles start to really relax. And over time, when our body is oriented to that Carnegie curve, you see that benefits really do accrue and you start feeling better. So I hope that was really helpful. And if you have any questions, please ask me. And if you want more support and more information about grounding, go to my website. There's organic, eco-ethical grounding tools there, as well as my book, The Earth Prescription, that'll really inspire you to get outside every day. And that's really what our bodies are craving.